it's very gentle stage by stage so you take the you start at the top layer and you just gradually go down so if if you know um i mean you might be a bit rougher at the top and uh, but once you get near to where you're finding you're working with a trowel and you're just taking it a bit at a time Archaeology is all about layers. So you go down in spits, so you can really understand the process of the filling up of something. Because a lot of these graves are quite well preserved, you could see them. So you can work from the known to the unknown. You're not sure what's going in the middle, so it's best to work from one side where you know that there's an edge, and then you can work across. Um, and then when you start to see things like bones sticking out or objects, then you, you know that you've got to go even slower. Um, and then you can use smaller and smaller scrapers to get round and, things. And brushes when you get to very delicate A things. soft brush. The most important thing, though, is recording as you're excavating. I mean, what I tend to do wherever I'm excavating is have a notepad with me and I'll just write notes, loads of notes, not only sort of technical notes, but things like how the soil feels to me, what my hunches are, um, all these things, which you might not ever go back to again, but really important to understand your thinking when you're doing something, because that can help interpretation afterwards.